Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a cash stuffing video. Um, I've got $235 um, that I'll be stuff stuffing into my envelopes this week. Um, it's my shorter pay this week and also I've got quite a few bills that have come out. Um, my power and a lot of afterpays. Um, a second last payment for a lot of my Christmas items that I bought in the sales. Um, so I don't have as much to stuff this week, um, but I do have a few, fair few envelopes. So I'm um, just doing $5 in a few of them, um, but you'll see that. Okay, so I do actually have a little bit of rollover um, this week, um, which apart from my fuel, generally I don't. Um, so in grocery this week, we have got $5 left over. And from Connor and Sophie's birthday, um, they had their birthday this week. Um, I've also got $5. So I've got $10 left over this week. Um, I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to do a separate video on my rollover and my bonus money this week. I've got a few different bits and pieces. So I'm going to put that to the side and you can see my next video, what I do with what's left over. I've also got some coins this week. No special coins. Let's just count that up. Okay, so I've got $5.80 um, there. So I'll put, also put that to the side um, and I'll have a reel um, of me adding that to my money box. And at the end of the month, which is today, um, I'll be doing a separate um, video. Um, I might do a YouTube video for that as well. Um, counting up the money in my money box and putting that in one of my savings challenges. Um, so leave a comment below with how much you think I might have in my money box this month. I think last month was around $30. So hopefully, um, I think we're going to be a little bit under that. Actually, I think we're probably going to be a lot under that this month. Um, but see how we go. Okay, first envelope, groceries. So anyone that's seen my other videos um, will note that I was going to start keeping my grocery money in the bank um, because my Coles, local Coles supermarket, um, the self-checkouts don't like, there's very few that actually have cash. And now for the last two pays, I have still managed to get my money out. So once again, we will be stuffing 120. And you'll also note that in my last video, I said I would have my new envelopes ready for this week. Also don't have those. Um, I'm halfway through doing some Christmas ones. Um, and so I'm just going to stuff these ones again this week. And next video, I will definitely have my new ones ready to go. I'm pretty sure, yep, I also don't have room to write on my tracker in this one either, but it's getting $120 in my grocery envelope. Okay, fuel is getting $40. Um, I don't have a tracker with my fuel um, envelope. I just put $40 in to that one. Uh, now next, this is going to be a new envelope. Um, I haven't got, had this printed yet. Uh, so this is just a spare one that I had lying around. This is actually for my internet. So that one's going to get $20. Um, it turns out that I can't be trusted to leave my money for the month in my bank. So I'm going to have to get that out and put it in an envelope and then go back to the bank and transfer that when it's due. Okay, next is medical, and that is going to get $5 this week. Nearly all my trackers are running out of room. I had to line up at the bank for ages today to get um, all my $5 notes. Um, 
the ATMs I can go and choose select the notes that I want um, but they don't do five dollar notes so um, usually I can just reshuffle what's in my envelopes but this week did not have the amount of five dollar notes that I needed so I had to line up forever okay next is my emergency fund that is also getting five dollars At least now I've ended up getting a few extra fives as well um, for my vacation um, binder, which you will see shortly. Um, and so I got $60 that I had in change transferred over and I got them all in $5 notes so that I can have a big stash so I don't have to go back anytime soon. Okay, so Sophie's also getting $5. Um, Caitlin is getting five dollars. Because I didn't fill it in properly before. Uh, but yeah, by next video, next cash stuffing video, I will have all my new envelopes done. So this one is going to be a new category, which I'm starting household. Um, so that I don't have to take out um, money for my grocery budget because our grocery budget's quite tight um, when I need household things. So I'm going to slowly build that up so that, um, and also pet food has gone up again. It's just so expensive. So I'm going to work on getting my I was going really well and then had a few things happen. So I need to get my pet budget back up so that all my pet expenses are coming from my pet budget instead of my grocery budget because that is struggling at the moment um a beauty um my daughter is actually an apprentice hairdresser and she um that i've been going in getting my treatments done with her in t at tafe for her assessment so that has been nice and cheap. So I've been able to go back to getting my hair done um, more regularly. Um, I've got nasty greys um, that need to be done regularly. So um, it's been nice to be able to get those done more regularly. Okay, now vacation is going to get, oh, this one's almost at the end as well. $20 this week. I'm pretty happy to be able to get $20 in there on my off week. And my Halloween, my new Halloween album, I've still got two of these available in my Etsy store if anyone's wanting um, a Halloween envelope is getting $5. And the tracker is actually enclosed on this. Um, so I don't actually, I might, I might do half a mummy. This is $10, this tracker. I might just do half my mummy. Okay. Okay, I'm losing my light very quickly here. Um, I've been trying to get this video done all day and then some things keep popping up. Um, so I apologise for that. Uh, so that's my 235 stuffed into my envelopes for this payday. Um, just a reminder that I'll put my shop back code below and also my receipt jar code. Um, I got another 200-ish points on my receipt jar this week. Um, and I got a few points in my cash back. Um, I've managed to um, get it. I think I'm up to about $70 in my shop back. Um, so that'll be nice. I'll check, cash that out closer to Christmas. Um, don't forget to boost your everyday rewards at Woolworths and your flybys points uh, boosters. Um, I think this week I've got 10,000 points at 
Kohl's if I spend $60 a week for the next four weeks. So I'll be doing that again. Um, I usually do a shopping some at Kohl's, some at Woolworths, getting the best deals um, at each place. Um, I had some really good ones at Woolworths this week. Um, I think I got 900 points just for shopping any shop at Woolworths. And I also had another big one. I think that might have been a big W. Um, I got 800 points, I think, um, just for things that I was already getting there. Um, so that was really nice. Um, please check out my Etsy store. I've had some um, orders this week, which has been lovely. Um, I've done a couple of reels with those and I really appreciate everyone that takes the time to look at my store and especially people that order. Um, I'm going to have another couple of videos on YouTube to try and catch up. Um, there were videos that I'd filmed that just haven't made it up there. So I'm trying to get this one up either today or tomorrow and all the ones before it um, caught up so that they're all on there um, and everything's in order. Um, I will have, I've got a new savings challenge. Um, I decided to change my 25 envelope challenge over to Christmas. So I've put a sneak peek up on my Instagram today and I will have a video um, showing that. And also I'll show you me stuffing those envelopes um, my new envelopes and also you'll see what I'm doing with my rollover and I'll have a video for my end of month what's in my money box so I'd love it if you'd like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel um, don't forget to tell all your friends share it if you could and I'll see you on my next video thanks bye